Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how you can set up an NFS server running on Windows Server 2019 hosted on Google Cloud Platform. So simply click the link in the description box to come to this marketplace listing for Google Cloud and from here you want to create a new EC2 virtual machine with this particular image. Now this image comes with a pre-installed NFS file server. So simply click on launch. After that, you would be brought to this page from where you can customize your virtual machine. So give your virtual machine a deployment name and then choose the zone or region where you want to deploy your virtual machine. Once that is done, simply scroll down and choose the machine type according to your requirements and also the disk space according to your requirements as well. And then you can leave the network settings as default. After that, click on accept the agreement and then click on deploy. So that is going to start the deployment process of the virtual machine. So simply wait for the deployment process to complete. Now once the virtual machine has been deployed, the next step is to connect to our virtual machine using an RDP connection. Now before we can do that, we need to create an administrator account for the Windows Server 2019 which is the same credential that we would be using to connect to our RDP connection. For that simply click on this little arrowhead icon and then click on set Windows password. After that it is going to ask you for the username, so give yourself a username, so I'm just going to type it as CIS admin and then click on set and then it is going to take a few moments but it will show you your password so once you have your password simply copy this password and store it somewhere safe once that is done simply hit close and then click on this hamburger icon and then choose compute engine after that you would be brought to this page from where you can see your newly created virtual machine now what you're going to do is that you're simply going to copy this external ip address then hit windows and type a remote desktop connection and then you're going to paste in that ip address in front of this computer field and then click on show options and then you're going to simply provide the username that you have just created which in our case is cis admin and then click on connect after that it is going to ask you for the password so simply copy paste the password that you had stored somewhere safe once that is done simply click ok and then it is going to prompt you one last time so click yes and then wait for the connection to be fully established now once the connection has been established you also need to wait for the windows server 2019 to completely load now once this windows server has completely loaded this server manager application is going to open up on its own the very first step that you want to do once inside the server manager is that you want to create a new nfs share now for that simply click on file and storage services and then you're going to head over to the shares tab now in here you're simply going to click on this tasks and then choose new share now that is going to open up the new share wizard now for the file share profile i'm just going to go with nfs share quick and then click on next after that it is going to ask you for the share location basically the location where the nfs share folder would exist on this virtual machine so i'm just going to go over type a custom path and then i'm going to type in the path as c colon backslash nfs share so this is the name of the folder that would be shared over the nfs so simply click on next and then it is asking us for the nfs share name so i'm just going to name it as nfs share and then click on next after that it is going to take you over to authentication so i'm just going to go with all of kerberos authentication and i'm also going to go with no server authentication and i'm also going to enable and map user access and then simply click on next now moving over to share permissions you can add in the IP addresses of the host that you want to allow access to this NFS share. So to do that, simply click on add and then you can simply type in the IP address of the host or your client's machine. Well, for this tutorial, I'm just going to go over to all machine and then change the share permission to read and write and then allow root access and then click on add. Once that is done, simply click on next to move over to permissions. Now, once you're satisfied with these permissions, then simply click on next to move over to the confirmations page. Now, on this page, it shows you all of the settings of the NFS share that you're going with. If you're satisfied with these settings, then simply clicking on create would actually create this NFS share. And just like that, our NFS share was successfully created. Now, the next step is to head over to the client's machine and mount this NFS share. Now, to do this, simply head over to the client's machine and open up the file explorer and open up this PC. After that, you're simply going to click on this computer tab and choose map network drive. Now in here, you're simply going to add in the IP address of your virtual machine which is going to be our server and then followed up by the name of the share that you have created. Now to do this, 
you need the IP address of the virtual machine. So head over to Google Cloud and then copy the external IP once more. Come back to Map Network Drive. Start with double backslashes followed up by the IP address, followed up by another backslash and then the name of the NFS share which in our case was NFS share. Once that is done, simply click on finish to establish that connection. Now, if it asks you for the credentials, then simply pass in the credentials for the administrator account that you have created while connecting to this virtual machine. After that, wait for the connection to complete. Now once the connection was made, the NFS share folder would open up or the NFS share drive would open up. Now, to confirm that it is the same network share, you can see that our NFS share has the same IP address as our virtual machine. So that is how you can mount the NFS share on the client's machine. Now if you want to learn how to mount this NFS share onto Linux operating system, then simply click the link in the description box for the step by step blog post guide and in that blog post there is a command for Linux operating system to mount NFS share. Now that brings us to the end of this tutorial. Now if you have any queries regarding this tutorial, make sure to leave that query in the comment section down below and we will get to you as soon as possible. And also make sure to check out the links in the description box for the marketplace listing for Google Cloud and also for the step by step blog post guide on how to set up NFS share on Google Cloud. And finally, if this video has helped you in any way, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.